Hello everyone, um, I'm Hải Đăng Nguyễn and today I present the frame-based evaluation deep features for the prediction emotional impact of movies uh, and the authors of this, wo this work are Khánh Quang uh, Chí Quang, Khánh An Chí Quang, uh, Minh Tiệp Nguyễn and Professor Minh Tiết Trần and here's the content outline I'm, uh, I'm going to present uh, the, their approach, their experiments, the result, and co the conclusions. So about the approach, this is the overview. Uh, the proposed method contains four stages, the frame extraction, uh, feature extraction, prediction models. They have two uh, different, two separate models for uh, violence and arousal tasks. And the last stage uh, is the post-processing method. Uh, first of all, the authors uh, extract the frames from videos of, for bot training and test set, uh, one frame per, per second for all the movies in training set and the test set. And to do this, the authors use uh, FF MPEG framework and for the second step, uh, for the feature extractions, the authors use a uh, pre-trained uh, ResNet with uh, 50 layers. Uh, pr uh, the pre-trained on the image net. Um, to ex they use this to extract the uh, feature vector of uh, 2048 dimensions uh, for each frame from the videos. And Here's the, their proposed model. Um, they split the original training set to uh, training and validation set uh, with the ratio 80 and 20. Uh, they, the models consist of two fully connected uh, hidden layers. Uh, and they vary the number of uh, hidden nodes uh, of the first and the second layers. Uh, from to 128 to 512, and they also vary the number of training epochs uh, as 10, 15, and 20. They perform uh, training uh, with the learning rate uh, of 10 to the uh, minus 4, and with the mean root mean square propagation. Uh, as I said, they have to separately separate model for the valence and also tasks. And here is the graph uh, of the the model. Uh, two fully connected hidden layers, and the inputs uh, the inputs of uh, this model are taken from the the ResNet, the 50 layer ResNet. Uh, they <coughs> and for the last uh, final state, they post-processing, they apply the average window sliding technique to remove the random noise, and they try uh, three different window size, uh, three, five, and seven, but uh, they s in, the s in the run, they d in the submission, they just use uh, seven. And here's the result from the authors. Uh, they fix the number of nodes in uh, the second layer as uh, 512, and they vary the number of nodes uh, in the layer 1, and they vary also the number of epochs from 10, from 10 to 20, and they apply win window sliding technique for run 2 to run 5. This is the result for the valence task. And this is the result. Uh, this is the configuration, run configuration. I'm sorry, uh, run configuration for the arrow source task. And and here's the result. They uh, they achieve the best result among five runs uh, runs two. And they conclude that uh, when comparing uh, run one with the other four runs, uh, 
by applying uh, window sliding technique, they have a better slightly slightly better result. Yeah, you can see here. Um, in run two, they stop at the uh, uh, at they stop uh, the training uh, phase at the epoch twenty. So uh, the they can improve the model maybe uh, if they increase this number. And so in the conclusion, the author conclude that uh, there's a similarity in frame between uh, uh, the test set and the training set. Uh, for example, uh, uh, they observe that the positive example uh, usually have the colorful frames and uh, uh, the negative num the, the negative example usually dark and they also state that uh, they try uh, different settings of the models and this is the initial step to develop a better method uh, that utilize uh, temporal information of frame and sequences and other media tabs such as uh, audio and text components. Okay. Thank you for, li for listening.